Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to talk to you today about the Patreon call um, between Sonia and um, Enrico that happened on January 27th, 2024. Now the reason why this call is on Patreon because of the trivial words that IS taught Sonia to say to try to stop other folks' bag, but it is not working. Anyway, so Sonia was telling us about a blogger that was talking about his case and that this blogger was on for three hours going through CP charges and everything about the girl, you know, the victims. She was going through everything with a fine tooth comb. And she said um, on one of the dates that um, he was somewhere else. So how was this date possible I remember that I remember that live stream because I was listening in on that live stream and she's talking about um insane Sylvia. That's who she's talking about. So that's the blogger. And that that video was a long video. And she was going through all the things, you know, these charges with Nesto and she even said that um she went to church with the girls, either the girl's grandmother or the aunt, one of the two. And she was showing documents about the girl's mother, which I know who the girl's mother is already. I know who the girl's father is already. I had put that together a while back. But like I said, I don't expose folks like that because, you know, they don't have anything to do with the case. The victim does. And then she was saying, Sonia said how the victim lives in New York now with a white dude. I don't know. She was just talking at that time. Um, she also said she was telling Nesto about how Judge Manning watches IS channel, okay? Now, whatever happened to that interview that she was supposed to be doing with Judge Manning? Because she said she was, Judge Manning was going to come on and do an interview, but that never happened. Or she maybe is in memberships, but I don't think it ever happened. All right, so of course we know that Sonya is talking about, you know, what's going on, and she's using those trigger words again. She also is telling us, though, about um, how Young Thug had his video visit taken down. Now, I do remember seeing his video visit up at one point. The rappers was talking about it, saying, you know, why is this man's video calls to his woman leaked? That's a private conversation between two people. And I'm like, okay, well, yes, it is a conversation, but it's not private because it's recorded. It's a recorded call. So, but it was taken down. Why it was taken down, I have no idea. Maybe because his case is still ongoing and it's a very high profile case. So I don't know why it was taken down, but it was taken down. And of course, she has something to say about that. You can't compare Nesto to Young Thug. It's just two different cases you can't compare. She's always making comparisons, and you can't compare those two. All right, so she's talking about the images on his computer and how old they were. She said they were about 15 years old. How do you know how old the images was? Because they were trashy. They were trash, and they were grainy and old looking. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. Just because today's technology is great, and you can see everything when you download it, it doesn't mean it was 15 years old. People can distort images. You do know that. People can mess with images and make them look a certain way. But who's going to tell them? And how do you know these images were 15 years old? Like, Sonia just, I believe, she just liked to hear herself talk. Because she thinks she's talking intelligent, and she really isn't. Now, I believe that, you know, Sylvia told Sonia what to say in certain videos with trigger words to stop. It was either going to stop the phone calls or stop, you know, the bag for other people. And it, it didn't do neither. It didn't do neither. It's not stopping anyone's bag. It's not... 
stopping the phone calls and being late. So basically, it was a waste of time. So you also in this conversation, she's making it sound like people were trying to frame Nesto. Nobody has to frame him. He framed himself. Enrico framed himself. All right. He was the one out there doing all this stuff with scamming people out of their money, scamming folks out of their cars, scamming folks, doing whatever he, whatever else they were doing. Okay. With that little security thing he had, he wasn't doing anything good with it. He was doing bad things with it. Finding out people's titles and information about their cars. And that's how he used people. All right. He was out there scamming hard. He was even teaming up with Erica to scam. All right. She was even his lawyer <laughs> at one point. And so was Lamont. Okay. Didn't Lamont work for Jones and Jones law, law firm? So everybody that's around Nesto that he knows, they are fraud people. They, they are scammers. They're criminals. So what do you expect? Everybody can't be lying on this man. No one is trying to frame him. He did all of this on his own. He had a business. Instead of him trying to build his business in a good way, he was using it to do other things. That barbershop was nothing but a place that was used as a brothel. Okay? He was trying to recruit women that would do anything, any and everything. And he found some. And, you know, some people didn't fall for it. But he did this. Everything that he's going through right now is because of him. He did all of this. He did all of this. Nobody is framing him. He's not getting railroaded. You know what I'm saying? He did this. So basically, that was that call about on Patreon. Um, you know, the only reason why I was up there because... Of the trigger words. Now let's get into Nesto visit with insane Sylvia. Okay, so she went up there again. You know, they prayed and all that kind of stuff. I was sent the clip. It was sent to me last night, but I watched it this morning. And um I was like, oh God. But he was talking about, she, they sent me the part where he was saying how, you know, um, he apologized to the, like, to the people he hurt and about the phone calls, whatever he said in the past, he, is, he apologized for it. And I'm like, okay, the only reason why he's apologizing, because let's just say Sonya did dip, right? Let's say she did dip and she's not visiting him and she's not taking any of his calls. She doesn't call him. So now he's lonely. Now he's lonely. So now you're apologizing. But do you also apologize for the things you said about Shirley Strawberry? Because I'm sorry, that apology would not have came if Sonya was still in the picture. So now that she dipped, let's just say, Oh, now you're sorry about the phone calls, about the stuff you said in the past about people and what? Wow. Really? Really? But um, I didn't go over there to Aya's channel. Like I said, it was sent to me. Um, I'm not going over there. She wants people to come over there. If she was really genuine about just going to the jail praying for him and talking to him. Why are you taking the calls, the video calls, and putting them on your channel? If this was really sincere and she was really going there to pray and to show him some comfort and support, why are you putting these videos on your channel? Because she wants to make a profit from them. But you can't talk about everybody else. Oh, everybody else is on the bandwagon. Everybody else is making money off of him. You're doing the same thing. But anyway, that's that lady is something else. I'm telling you, she is. She is something else. 
But anyway, honey, that's all I have for you guys right now. If I find anything else out later, honey, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come talk to y'all. Because that's how I do. I come talk to my, my Jonesies and my anonymous Jonesies. Because I love you guys so much. <laughs> but anyway, let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about all of this? Mm, 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 mm. I just can't wait for April. That's what I'm waiting for. I can't wait for April. Because I want to know what, what's really going to go down. What's going down? And if Nesto, let me tell you something. If Nesto, if that man gets sentenced, I'm going to say 10 to 15 years in jail, in prison, they better put him on Susu Watch because I think he's going to go crazy. I think he's going to go crazy. It's not like how he was young, honey, and he had, you know, his mind was different. He's an older man. Getting out when you're close to 80 years old is crazy. 70 and 8, that's, it's just crazy. But like I said before, my grandmother would say, a hard head will make a soft behind. You made your bed, now you have to lay in it. My grandma used to always tell us all of that all the time. You made your bed, now you lay in it. A hard head makes it soft behind. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, my grandma used to drop some gems, baby. She used to drop some gems. But anyway, you guys, let me know in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. And I will talk to you guys later.